Hello YouTube family, this is Ravi and welcome back to my YouTube channel. We are on the series Learn Service Now from zero till advanced in English. So in the last video we have seen what Service Now UI look like, where we have seen about application navigator, favorite sections, history sections, profile sections. So if you are very new to my video, do share and subscribe and you can watch the previous session video on the given i button on the top and you can even see the link in the description i will be putting the link so let's get started with the next topic which is branding how you will brand your service now is this so we have already covered these three topics as you can see in front of your screen so i will put this topic cutted in the description also which topic we have completed and we are on this topic called branding in service now so basically branding means you will brand your service now instance with their logo with their colors, with their instance name and small small text changes, text color changes. So why we need branding? First of all, we need to understand that part. Branding means you are imposing your stuff on something. For example, you are going to buy some clothes and the brand name for X cloth is different and Y cloth is different. Basically, different companies are using the same product with this, with different different tagline or different different branding stuff. So here, if you see, we are on the top having ServiceNow logo. Obviously, when your client is paying some amount to ServiceNow, it means that they will brand their instance, correct? So what I will do is I will change the logo and everything which will come under the branding part. So to do the branding, first of all, this part we need to come up over here. That is called your application navigator. And here we will search basic. Once you search basic, you will get two options, basic configuration and basic configuration user interface 16. Now you can, I am emphasizing on this name 16. Why? I'll come back to this. But before that, you can make this as a favorite so that it will come and sit on the favorite section. The same favorite section, it will come here and set it. So next time you just have to open this. Let's go back. Again, type basic. Okay. Now open these two things together. You can open the new window. Okay. Once you open these two things together, you will notice first one is giving me service now logo in red and uh, some banner and list caption is something like this. Only this much. But if you see this 16, we have a lot of stuff. Why? So very important point and very interesting part over here is this can be asking your interview question why we have two basic configuration in service now the reason is currently we are on user interface 16 and 10 years back when in 2013 or somewhere around 2012 service now used to have an instance in the ui version 15 so if i will show you how this ui 15 look like you need to come to this particular setting button and click on this option called switch to UI 15. Once you click there, you will notice that red logo, which is over here, will be displayed in front of your screen on the top. Let's wait, let this see, you can see here. Now, this particular version of service now is now not used. It was used in the late 2014, but after that, most of the clients switched this and they went to user interface 16, which we are currently in. So since so many years, we are using user interface 16, so we will be using this, but this is your user interface 15, where you will see, this is called impersonate, you can impersonate any user. This is system admin details, yeah, see. So we'll go back to our user interface 16. So remember, whenever you open any service now instance, check for the setting, it should always give you this option called switch to UI 15. It means that we are on user interface 16. Just type basic. Now, Basic configuration is under system property. Like when you buy your new phone, you will do, do some setting changes on the, on your phone. You will change the theme, you will change the wallpaper, XYZ you will do. But over here, that is comes under setting. But over here, we have system property where we will do this setting changes. So we'll go to basic configuration UI 16, not to this. So I'll close this tab and I'll open this tab. You can directly click here. Now you will see on the top, we have a page header caption. As I discussed yesterday, this part is called header. 
So on the page header, we have a word called development is just written because of this. I can change this to let's say dev or you can make it dev instance. Now once you write this, save it, you will notice this name will change once I refresh the page. See, dev instance. Similarly, you can change the logo, you can change your current time zone, lot of things we can do. We'll see one by one. So, as you notice, we have another section called browser tab title. And what is this browser tab title? So, once you are in Google Chrome or on Edge, once you open it, a plus sign over here, it will give you the new tab, new tab. These are called tab titles. As you notice, over here, we have a learning snow. That's why we have a tab, tab title over here, learning snow. If I remove this, if I type uh, learn snow with at the rate Ravi, for example. So what we'll notice, even the tab title got changed. If I refresh the page, you will notice even the tab title got changed. Learn snow at the rate Ravi. So basically, this is called browser tab title, which you will be changing based on your client requirement. These all requirement will be given to you by your client in the form of Excel sheet or they might create a story for this. Story is nothing but development part. Uh, they will gather the requirement from bees. After collecting all the information, they will give it to the developers or admin. So this comes under admin part. Now over here we have a time zone. We will be selecting any of the time zone which belongs to my client. So I will be selecting GMT as of now. So remember, whatever the changes we are doing over here, that will impact all the users. If I have hundreds of users in my service instance, all the users will get impacted with whatever the changes we are doing on the system configuration user interface 16. Remember this point and this point will be asking interview question. Will basic configuration UI 16 will impact all users? Your answer should be yes. Why? Because we are doing the changes on the property itself, which is changing the entire instance. So remember, we are going to change anything over here that will impact all users. Over here, we have a banner image. So we'll change the banner image. So let me go to my logo. I will use my logo over here. And the my logo name is learning service now with Ravi. And once you save it, refresh the page, you will get the logo right away over there. So this part, whatever we are doing right now is called branding. We are branding our service now instance with my logo, my instance name, uh, my page header title, color and all that. So if you go back, you will see, you can choose a date format. You can choose the time format, in which time format you want, whether it should be in AM or it is 24 hour clock, you can choose according to that. Similarly, you can change the header color, text color. So let's say I'm changing the banner text color to let's say red. If I wanted to change, I will click here and I will go to this red for example and just save it, you will notice the text color of the banner is changed. That header header is changed. It will be in red, dev instance. So you can beautify your instance, customize your instance, go into the user configuration 16, changing the color. You can see in front of your skin, this is changed to red. Similarly, you can change other stuff, like you can change the strip, header, footer, whatever you wanted to change, you can change it. So as of now, I will go back to FFF which is the white color. Now, if you're not familiar which color it is, go to the Google, first save it, go to the Google and just type hexadecimal color code. This is in hexadecimal. So once you open this first one, HTML color code, here you will be getting all the colors. Just select any color, for example, select this and the code is DF984. Whatever the color you will pick from here, it will generate you the code. For example, I want this orange, the color is D35840. So this change, this color, you can put it over here as per the code or you can choose from the existing color. So that's all on the branding part. And one more important part, let me show you. Let's go back. Now, refresh the page. Let me, I have changed it to FFF, so it should be white now. Yeah, we'll wait for a few minutes till the page is loaded. Yeah, it is white. Now, whatever we are changing, will get all the users will get impacted. That is fine. But what if I don't want to use this theme or this color? So always we have this setting icon over here and you click on this theme. This theme is called 
user user can choose any of this theme and this is applicable only to that individual users not to everyone for example if i selecting here cobalt or let's say green yeah it will load yeah now it let me select green so it is applied only to me not to everyone obviously it will not be applied to everyone it's only applied to me so this applies to me if i go back to any other user profile so as i discussed in the yesterday class how to impersonate any user if you click on the impersonate you will get a list of all user for example i'm going to this person who is being part of my service now now you can see it is now not green the reason is for adela the theme is system by default she can also change her own theme remember this concept so whenever you change from this setting that is apply only to you but whenever you change something from system configuration ui 16 that applies to everyone so this was branding this is ravi and we'll meet in the new video on how to manipulate tables how to create filters on the tables all those stuffs we are going to see very slowly and will master service now from scratch so we'll meet in the new video if you really like this content do share and subscribe thank you so much guys